Hello there again. So in editing this video, the first three and a half minutes of audio has seemed to have just disappeared. So I'm re-recording just this start bit. Don't worry, the video will continue smoothly after this point. But I'd just like to reiterate some of the things I said about these first four minifigures, starting off with Darth Revan, and more importantly, the polybag in general. Now this whole video will be covering 10 minifigures I want to see return in Lego form and with the remake of KOTOR coming out hopefully very very soon I think having a Darth Revan Lego minifigure would be one of the best ways to do it or perhaps they could even do it for May 4th around the release which obviously would be the more desired release. Looking at this poly bag, it is just the minifigure and I think that is the perfect way to do it. Perhaps even give us a mini stand like they did around the times of Solo and Rogue One where we got the droid, the Kessel Miner and even Han in his Mud Trooper uniform. And I would like to see a few more of these, especially with the modular bases that connect as they are great for displaying and also just make great May 4th promos as I know not too many people are a fan of the recent ones, especially the recent Death Star. As not only do you have to spend so much, but also they can't be displayed too well among the other sets, their scale is a bit off and minifigures just make a great way for especially mock builders to create what they want with this promo. Whilst we're on the topic of Legends characters, Obviously Thrawn's going to show up at some point in Ahsoka, we know that from the two shots we've got in the trailer. And I do think we'll probably be getting Thrawn next year, which is why he's pretty low on my list of minifigures I'd like to see return, as I'm pretty sure at some point he's going to be in Lego form once again. And whilst we're on minifigures relating to the Ahsoka show, I think Ezra Bridger would be a great minifigure to include if he shows up or more so when he eventually shows up across Star Wars as we haven't seen the last of Ezra Bridger. Kanan Jarrus would be a great minifigure to return. His design for his minifigure has pretty much already been nailed. So like with the Emperor and Luke and even Boba Fett, we'd just see a complete rehaul and slight updates, perhaps better proportions for the minifigure. And it'd be great to get some arm printing with his armor plate that we now see on his son. Jason Sundula. Whilst we talk about Jedi Padawans, that does bring us to Ahsoka Tano, which is where my audio does pick up. So let's see what I had to say about Ahsoka's Padawan minifigure returning. As not only is it the better design, and I'm not really sure what they were thinking at all with this first one, but with the recent episode of Ahsoka last week, it's a great time for it to return. And if you've watched that episode, you'll know the scene I'm talking about, and it was done very well. But I do think with all the Clone Wars sets we've got coming back, and especially later on in this decade, the 20th anniversary of Star Wars, the Clone Wars, both the movie and the series, it would be a great time to get the return of a great minifigure. And whilst we're on the Clone Wars, I think a droid we haven't seen enough of is the TX-20 tactical droid. Now, these were the head of the droid, smaller armies, I suppose, the tactical droids that were responsible for individual units and their tactical droids. They planned out certain attacks and analyzed battle scenarios to overcome the clones and beat down the Republic. Now, we've only actually got this droid in one set, which you can see on screen was Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter, I think this is an amazing set. It comes with two STAPs, Mace's fighter and a bike for the tactical droid. It houses all five of its minifigures and I'd love to see this recreated in the next battle pack, giving the droids their own STAPs and everyone has some sort of vehicle. Even the tactical droid has a speeder, which tactical droids were never really on the front lines. They always held back. So to give this droid a speeder was really cool. And again, I just hope we see this more often, but we definitely need a tactical droid for our clone armies and as they only come in one set, they could even use the same mould if they've hung onto it and still have it laying about, as there's nothing wrong with this droid. And it would have even been nice to see Hiang have a similar mould for himself, as he is more droid-like than minifigure. However, I can't say the minifigure we got was at all bad, as it is a really good minifigure. What good are a droid tactical commander without 
a clone commander leading his own battalion, also known as the Wolf Pack, of course. Wolf or Wolfie, however you pronounce it, would be a great minifigure to get in either a set or a battle pack in the new year. And of course, we have seen the design for the Phase 2 Wolfie. It looks really cool. But even a Phase 1 clone, as we haven't got many Phase 1 clones of recent. But I definitely would prefer a Phase 2 to go with my clone legion. And any of the commanders are included in this list. I was going to fill the list with different commanders and realise if I've got Wolfie, the rest of them can be joined on. Wolfie's the most likely as we have seen the design, much like Knuckles who we can expect for the Sonic theme to be getting in a set next year due to his recent design coming out for one of the Sonic games. But any commander would be great to see. We now have Rex alongside Commander Cody, Fox and Vaughn and they're all a fine addition to the collection. Now what good would a commander be without a Jedi Knight to fight alongside him? Anakin specifically his Clone Wars uniform was so good and I think they could improve it giving it that navy and claret look that it has in the Clone Wars. Again another character that spoiler alert for Ahsoka does show up in the recent episode and it's just a perfect time to reintroduce both him and his apprentice into Lego form. I'd love to see a set either in the new year or perhaps 25 as in the new year, we are getting a Grogu set about a year and a half after the episode aired, showing off Grogu's escape from the Jedi Temple alongside the aid of a Jedi named Kelleran Beck, who will also feature in the set first time in Lego minifigure form. Now, I have already made a custom of that character, as I have with Thrawn earlier on in the list, but it would be so great to see Anakin Skywalker return, especially without the creepy Clone Wars faces that LEGO had a phase of doing around 2010. Another minifigure around the Clone Wars era would be Padme. Now, specifically, I've chosen the Geonosis Arena minifigure as we've just got a remake of her popular Clone Wars outfit in the recent LEGO gunship, which does look amazing. The set overall is great, as it not only includes an updated Padme and Chancellor Palpatine, but also Fox and two Coruscant guards, as well as a complete repainted gunship like we've never seen before in lego and i'll definitely be picking it up at some point alongside the ghost but padme also has a really cool minifigure that came in anakin's pod racer the outfit she wears on tatooine when she first bumps into anakin skywalker and that minifigure too is a great design so i'd love to see them re-update her geonosis outfit and perhaps have more of a complete outfit without that tear going through her chest and the ripped off sleeve as it would technically make it a brand new minifigure. And I wouldn't be opposed to a cloth piece around her neck, just to complete the outfit. Finally, on the list before I reveal it, if any of you have watched a few of my recent videos, especially from when I started my Lego content, you all know there is one clone I would love to return as it's the only one of the new phase two molds I do not own. And that tops the list, the 212th Airborne Clone Trooper, in phase two, now I would love for them to bring back not only this trooper, but the cloth karma that it also has, as this trooper is again the only one of the new troopers I do not own. There is a lot of bias going into this minifigure, but I feel like that can be said about the whole list, which is definitely centered around a Clone Wars heavy theme. And though there are many characters other than the 10 I have stated today, that we'd love to see return with an updated minifigure, just like that Boba Fett did in the mech, I would like to see this 212 come back as the only set it was in was Grievous Starfire, which for £75 at the time was very, very expensive. And especially as it included a Grievous that had already been used, the Kenobi from the cheaper Mustafar dual set. And the only exclusive piece on the ship was the cockpit, which no doubt is very expensive to get on Bricklink now. But I'd love for all these minifigures to return, especially the ones that we will probably be seeing like Thrawn and Ezra, but cannot wait to see what the new year holds with Lego minifigures. So thank you so much for watching. Drop a like and more importantly, let me know which minifigures you'd like to see return with an updated design in the comments. Now I will be doing another video of what minifigures I'd like to see brand new in the new year. 
and this will include minifigures and outfits that haven't been made in LEGO before, or will be completely new minifigures that perhaps we could have made customs of, or brought customs that other people have moulded and made, but they will not have been officially done by LEGO. So subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when that video goes up, as well as all of the others that I post, as I do post daily, so there is a lot of content to catch up if you haven't watched it already. And of course, as always, may the bricks be with you.